one. So the Portland Trailblazers are in a very tough bind, right? They're still trying to figure out what they're going to do with the Damian Lillard trade. Uh, there has been no real traction based on recent reports. Uh, Portland's been kind of playing hardball and been basically saying like, hey, we're not just going to trade him just to trade him. Uh, we're okay with him going in and being a part of the roster come the NBA season. And that very well could be a likely scenario. Um, they also decided to go and overpay for Jeremy Grant Believing, I guess, my guess is believing that Damian Lillard was staying, which I don't know why they would think that when Damian Lillard said on several occasions, like, hey, I need a real content contender. I gave you an opportunity and you're not doing anything. And they traded the farm, ended up going and putting together a roster of Nurik and Jeremy Grant and said, there you go. There's your contender. Like, what? <laughs> Like, okay, so that fell apart, obviously, and they didn't even make the play in, uh, as expected. And they decided to follow that up by showing Damian Lillard like they are serious about winning by overpaying Nurik and overpaying Jeremy Grant. And they gave Jeremy Grant a new five-year, $160 million contract with an annual salary of $32 million guaranteed. Now, look, Jeremy Grant is a fine player. I like Jeremy Grant a lot. Um, you know, he's still 29 years old, 6'8", a guy that can give you 20 points on any given night and guard the best player on the other team. That has value, especially in today's league. He can play the small forward, power forward, multiple positions. But there is this growing just narrative that the Lakers and Portland may end up trading for Jeremy Grant. And this kind of stems because the Lakers have tried to trade for Jeremy Grant in the past. But here's the offers that are being thrown around based on like the media reports that are coming out. That the Lakers would trade to Portland, Rui Hachimura, Tor uh, Torian Prince, Jared Vanderbilt, and a 2029 first round pick swap. Uh, Lakers would receive Jeremy Grant. Are they trading for Kevin Durant or are they trading for Jeremy Grant? Now, I understand you have to match salaries, but the Lakers are going to trade away all of their sizable depth to go get Jeremy Grant, and I don't see that at all. Look, Rui Hachimura and Jared Vanderbilt are in the lab currently right now as we are talking in Japan, working out. They are with Phil Handy trying to improve. Jared Vanderbilt is maybe a top five defensive perimeter defender, like one-on-one -on -one defender. I mean, this guy is ridiculous. And yes, he has struggled offensively, but he's been working diligently to improve on his shooting. Uh, working with Phil Handy, been working all offseason. From the moment the Lakers picked his option up, he has been in the lab working specifically on that corner three. Rui Hachimura, same thing. Rui Hachimura was, was great for us in the playoffs. And the big question is, can that translate to the regular season? I, for one, do believe he can. I believe we saw what Phil Handy was able to do with him in like a month's time. And now he's been working all off season with Phil Handy. And I expect him to be one of the most improved players, maybe not just on the Lakers, but even in the league. Uh, the only reason I have question marks about him being the most improved in the entire league is because the Lakers are so deep and are so talented. And they do have, you know, LeBron James and Anthony Davis, along with Austin Reeves, who's really emerged, D'Angelo Russell. So, I think it'll be tough, but I do think he's a guy that can absolutely... I mean, look, Rui Hachimura is a guy, undoubtedly, that can give you 20 points per game, right? He's averaged 13 and a half points per game on half of the attempts that Jeremy Grant has. Like, literally, half of the attempts. And he is a better shooter. He's not a better three-point shooter. Jeremy Grant shoots 40%, right? He's not a better three-point shooter, but... On If you give Rui the same amount of shot attempts, he would average more points than Jeremy Grant does. Now, look, I like Jeremy Grant a lot. Again, I do. But Rui Hachimura and Jared Vanderbilt combined are better than Jerry, Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant might be a better individual player than both of these guys, but these two together are not... Do not equate to Jeremy Grant. I'd rather keep these two because you have the depth, you have the size, you have all the things that you need to go and contend and compete. Good thing about uh, Jeremy Grant is he usually has been a, a healthy player, right? He's had a lot of, you know, 81 games, 80 games, 71 games. Um, so he's he's been a durable, reliable player. But I just, I look, if you could get Jeremy Grant another way, like if you could trade, I don't know, D'Lo and Torian Prince or something like that, and then the 29 first, sure. You know, like, if you could do something like that where you're basically bringing him in, then sure. 
but you're not trading all of your, you're trading these two guys that you see on screen in Rui Hachimura and Jared Vanderbilt, and on top of that, Tory and Prince, and on top of that, a draft pick. Like, you're not bailing out Portland. And if you are, you're getting him for the cheap, right? Like, if, if they want to keep Jeremy Grant, Jeremy Grant wants to stay there, and, you know, he's fine that, then fine. You know, let him stay there. But if he really wants out, and you're the Lakers, and you want to trade for him, the Lakers aren't giving up, aren't selling the farm for that. They didn't sell the farm to unload Russell Westbrook and go get all the guys that they got. I mean, they got Rui Hachimura for four second-round picks. You think they're going to go and trade him and everything to go get Jeremy Grant, who, like, he's been a great player, but what has he done? Like, what has he really proven he can do? He's He hasn't been a part of a winning roster, right? Like, he was the big acquisition that Portland brought and the idea was that like oh Portland's got his second guy he's got a guy that give you 20 plus a night guard the best player on the other team and they didn't even make the play it right and look I get that Jeremy Grant would be like the fourth or fifth option on the Lakers but the Lakers tried to acquire Jeremy Grant in the past and the reason they didn't and the reason they stopped was because Jeremy Grant said that he didn't want to be a third fourth option so like, what, now you're going to trade for him and now he's going to be, like, the fourth, fifth option, right? Or third option, right? Like, I just, I don't see that being the case. I mean, I would rather the Lakers go and trade for Nurik than Jeremy Grant. I think Nurik is a bigger need. And I think he is a good, serviceable center. I think he's one of the better centers. But he also needs to be able to stay healthy. But if you can get him on the cheap, then why not, right? Like, that, I would rather have Nurik than, I'm not saying that the Lakers should trade for either, if I'm being honest. Um, but I do think like if you're, if you were to trade for anybody on the Portland Trailblazers, in my opinion, you trade for Nurk. He's 28 years old, um, 6'11". He's got good size. He can bane with the, you know, with the, the Jokic's and the Steven Adams and all that stuff of the world. Um, this is a guy that, you know, is a, is basically a 13, 10 guy, uh, dish out some assists. He's averaged like three assists per game for his career. Uh, you know, like I would rather him and put him alongside Anthony Davis than go and trade for Jeremy Grant when you have already an abundance of perimeter guys, right? You got LeBron James, Rui Hachimura, you have Anthony Davis who can play the four, right? You have Torian Prince, Cam Reddish. Like, the list goes on and on. Like, why would the Lakers want to go and give up and sell everything to go and get Jeremy Grant, of all people? You know, if you were getting, like, I don't know, a, a Zach Levine or something like that, then sure, maybe... You know, because he's good enough, he's a he's a big enough impact player. I just don't think Jeremy Grant is going to yield the results that Tory and Prince can uh Tory and Prince, Rui Hachimura, and Jared Vanderbilt will breed. Like, I don't think Jeremy Grant translates to more of an impact than those three guys. I just don't. I think that that is just silly. I think it's just, you know, it's part of like, hey, you know, it's slow news time. Uh Portland is in a is in a bind. Maybe the Lakers will bail him out because they wanted Jeremy Grant in the past. Yeah, they wanted Jeremy Grant in the past, but they weren't even trying to trade him for that much. Like, and after he says something like, "Oh, I don't want to be," you think what he's going to come in now and want to be that when he's like when he's probably going to be like the second option or first option on the Portland this year, right? Like, I mean, this is the guy that again I really like Jeremy Grant. He is one of the prototypical perimeter guys you could ask for. One of the prototypical wings, right? Good size, 6'8", can play both forward positions, can guard the best player on the other team, give you 20 a night. Like, that is good. Like, that absolutely would be solid on the Lakers roster. If the Lakers could acquire Jeremy Grant, go do it. But not at the expense of Rui Hachimura. Like, if you had to trade, like I said, Torian Prince, uh, you know, D'Angelo Russell, and, you know, Shafino or something like that. Sure. All right. You know, like, I like Shafino and stuff like that, but Jeremy Grant, you're in win-now mode. Jeremy Grant gives you another 20-point-a-game scorer that's still young enough to be a part of the team for the long haul. Him with Rui Hachimura and Jared Vanderbilt are terrifying. Good luck trying to stop that. Like, I, okay, like, I, I could see the picture now. But not for Tori and Prince, Jared Vanderbilt, and Rui Hachimura. Like, that just makes no sense. Rui, Rui might be a better player this year than Jeremy Grant. Maybe not on the defensive end, but he actually was a better defender than we saw in the past as far as Rui Hachimura goes, right? He, again, he wasn't an elite defender by any means, but he was still bet much improved than he was with the Wizards. And, like, why? Like, have him be the guy that comes in. He's younger, 
right? He's like three years younger, four years younger than Jeremy Grant, right? So to think that Rui Hachimura can't go and be a 20-plus point-a-game guy when he's shooting better efficiency and is four years younger at the same height, same size, like, I just, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. I just, again, I think it's just, you know, it's one of those, like, hey, it's slow, slow news day. Let's, let's throw something out there. But I've just seen so much of it and so many people talking about it and bringing it up that I wanted to uh, I wanted to talk about it, kind of go over it and give my thoughts and opinions as always. So anyway, those are my thoughts and opinions. I think absolutely no way, no how does that, anything close to that happen. I mean, if the Lakers can get Jeremy Grant at a reasonable price, I think that they would. Absolutely. And plus you'd have him locked up for 32 million a year, which I think is an overpay for him. I think he's about a 25 to maybe 27 million a year guy. Right, I, I do. I think realistically, if he would have signed four years, a hundred million, or five years, a hundred and twenty-five million, or something like that, then I think yeah, I think he's, I think he's about a twenty-five million a year guy, but not thirty-two million. So you're getting a guy that's overpaid, and then on top of that, you're, you're trade, you're gonna what have to sell the farm for that? No, like if you could figure it out to where you could make, you could trade several guys, then sure. But even then, you'd have to. The problem is, is that he makes so much money. You'd have to trade like D'Lo and like Rui just to match his salary. It just, it makes no point. It makes no sense. It just doesn't. I don't know. And I don't know why anyone would even want this to happen if you're a Laker fan. If you're a Portland fan, yeah, I can absolutely see why you want that to happen, right? Like, hey, yeah, get off his salary, bring in a Rui, a Vanderbilt, a Toria. Yeah, let's go do that, right? Yeah, but if you're a Laker fan or Lakers, like, period, like, that doesn't make a world of sense at all whatsoever but anyway as always this is a discussion so i pass a question on you let me know how do you feel down on the